In this class, we are going to learn how to develop a Oracle REST data services that is ORDS REST API for a simple SQL query like select star from particular table or you can build a complex query as well. But for demonstration purpose, I will use the simple query that is select star from some table and I will just pass this URL of a ORDS REST API and I will fetch all the records whatever is available in our Oracle database table. If your requirement is something like this wherein you have to develop a ORDS REST API with the HTTP method as get and fetch all the details from a table or the package procedure or a view then you can make use of this similar concept. So without wasting much time let's see how to do the same. In order to achieve the same I am first of all enabling the schema wherever my table is available that is select start from table that is employee table I am considering for this use case and I am enabling the schema that is admin schema where I am having this table. Next coming to the module, I am saying this will be my base path after the ORDS host name. So this will be the path employee table 1 and the H4. Coming to the template, so this is the simple template I have over here that is the slash test. So if you want to give further slash something then you can provide it over here and the priority and all you can define as per your business requirement. Coming to the handler, I am saying this is the get HTTP method. If you want to have one more handler with the post you can have this over here. So source type I am saying this is the JSON, I am getting the response from this table in a JSON. I will show you how it looks when I run this with the help of Postman. So once you write this SQL statement like enabling the schema, defining the module, template and the handler. So handler you can have a number of things like for the get, post, patch, put something like that. And the source you have to mention. So this is a simple query. You can have the sub queries as well, or any kind of complex query. Even you can declare the block SQL block statements over here, even the PL SQL procedures packages. All those things we have seen in detail in our earlier classes. So let me just run this and create the module for our table. Let me just run this statement. Click on execute. Done. Now I will run this statement from the postman that is the oracle ORDS rest api so here i am getting the records whatever is available in my database so the count is one let me see how many records are available let me run this right now i am having only one record let me just insert some details i will go to the json collection in our earlier classes we had seen how to develop a ORDS rest api wherein we can send the request in the json array object like in this array we are having multiple employee records so our ORDS api that is this api will parse each and every array object and it will insert the records into the database let me just click on send done let me just see how many records are there this time there should be three done now let us go back to our postman project click on send this time we are having three records as we are having three records in our database table so like this we can build the simple ORDS REST API that is to fetch all the records available in the database table here you can have any kind of complex query as well written